YouTube, welcome back. Um, we got a patrol car in here. I'll do a walk around for you guys. It's uh, for Oro Valley PD. A bunch of people have been asking about it on Instagram, so we'll do a run through with this. We got a posse car behind me, two canines for Queen Creek, uh, four vehicles here out of 20 for a customer out of California. Uh, we'll keep you up to date on those. But uh, here, let me run through this Tahoe with you. It's a 2021 Tahoe PPV full wheel and core setup. So I'll give you guys a rundown. All right, here we are, 2021 PPV wheel and core. This is for Oro Valley, has yet to be graphic. For those of you who have seen the graphics for Oro Valley, they're badass. They were designed, printed, and they're all installed in-house. Up top, the wheel and bar. Red, white, blue, white to the front. Red, amber, blue, amber to the rear. It's got the emitter smack dab in the middle. Activates in three, in drive. And then they'll also have a separate button for it, momentary button, which is on the siren controller. Um, obviously, you'll have your factory headlight flasher that comes with the PPV. Activates in three. It's a Weston push bumper. On either side, they'll have mini T ions, red, white. It'll activate an alley. In the sleeve here, you'll have your ions, red, white, blue, white. They'll activate in three, and then also in take down or scene. Our power isolated management system there, built in house, timer, super relay, all nine yards. Obviously, the tracers down below, those are the duos. They'll have the full white override for your alley function. Right now it's sitting in cruise. In the rear, mini T-ion, single color on either side. When your hatch is open, low profile Troy box, slick. Still have a lot of room on top. You get a whole bunch in the drawer. It's heavy duty. Dome light up top. This is two position switch over here in the right hand corner. So you'll have red and then also have white. On the spoiler, we went with the ion spoiler lights. Red, amber, and blue, amber. When an arrow function is activated, left, center, out, or right, these will flash red, amber, and blue, amber, which I'll demonstrate here in a second. What we still have to add to, since this is OBD2 integrated, um, as soon as we close the hatch, the dome light inside will turn off. As soon as you open the hatch, these spoiler lights here will cut off. It is equipped with a tail light flasher from uh, Chevy PPV. Obviously, your tracer's down below. I'll show you guys the partition. Changed it up a little bit. We went with the Weston Defender partition, front and rear, plastic seats. Turned out badass. Sometimes they got a big old gap here. So we ended up putting some screws in there to secure it down. Nothing can slip back in there when a preserver gets in. It's a good looking partition. I'll bring you guys along the other side to show you the console. Big old Havis wide body console. Wheel and core. Massive controller, bunch of options. A lot of the buttons that we have right now are two and three positions. Obviously your USB outlet, DC outlets over here in the corner. PA, radio mic, they don't have magnetic, magnetic mics. This is for your dome light. We separate it from the siren controller just so you're not hitting any buttons. Um, with this you can feel around the console and not have to look down find the dome light quick. We love how the Havis console is incorporated in this little faceplate here. It's a clean look. Speaker outlet, there's one for the driver and the passenger side. Black rack, AR and shotgun. Printer headrest, it's a little different touch. Customer supplied. Armrest, obviously, you'll have your two cup holders down below, and then we're waiting for the cubbies to come in from Havis. There'll be a little folder cubby there. Clean setup. For the gun lock, it'll count down here. 
how much time you have left until it'll lock back up. Cool little function. Now I'll run through the rest of the functions with you guys. Let us know what you think. All right, little rundown of the siren controller here. Um, it is equipped with horn ring and part kill, which I'll demonstrate here in a second. Uh, let's see, obviously you'll have your arrow function here, which will display. And then you'll also have your ions in the back. Um, under the spoiler will go dual color, red amber, blue amber also. You'll have two options for left alley and right alley. Two options for scene. First will be a takedown, second will be a scene. Right alley first option, right alley second option. Whatever position you're in, you can throw it in low power mode. It'll dim the lighting. Obviously your cruise function, which is dim lighting, steady burn all the way around. With the preemption that's in the light bar, you can use it manually without turning on to position three and being in drive if you're just looking to open a gate. Gun lock. Obviously we'll open up both gun locks and it'll count down here until it locks again. Locked. Obviously your air horn, manual tone, your three tones here. These three tones will cycle when you're hitting horn ring. Here's your APX 6500 radio, USB, dome lights here, two position, DC outlets, waiting for the cubby here. Really little badass setup. So now we'll show you the different positions. I'll demonstrate the horn ring now. Um, it is equipped, we do have dual tone, two speakers up front. So I'll give you guys a rundown on that. Three. <laughs> 